So I'm super pumped because we recently hit 10K subs. And to celebrate, we partnered with AE Juice to give away three Primer Pro bundle packs that include transitions, cool animated shapes and emojis, text animations, overlays, and much more. Details about how to win coming up. When AE Juice reached out to us, I decided I wanted to test out their effects and plugins for a month or so to see if I actually like them. And I gotta say, I'm super impressed. They're not cheesy. They're actually really high quality with a ton of value in each pack. And they're not paying me to say this. It's my honest opinion. So in this video, before I get to the giveaway, I'll show you some of my favorite plugins and how to use them, including one of their free plugins. Let's hop into Premiere and check them out. Once you install your AE Juice Pack, go up to Window, Extensions, AE Pack Manager 3, and a panel will open up with whichever packs you've downloaded. We have these two snowboarding clips here, and I want the first clip to transition into the wide shot in a more visually interesting way. If you've ever tried to make your own transition effects in Premiere Pro, it can be quite time consuming and even complicated. In the Seamless Transitions Pack here, there are tons of already made transitions to choose from. I like this scale out one, so I'll import it. And here it is on our timeline. We'll move it over so that the ending of the first transition lines up with the ending of the first clip like so. And this transition even has a sound effect with it. Great, so there we go. In a matter of seconds, we have this cool zoom out transition to take us from one shot to the next. Next, let's go to the Cyberpunk HUD pack, which has tons of animated backgrounds, overlays, and text animations in it. I like these for titles to use in between different segments of an edit or to use as intros with the title over top. I really like this sun retro looking background, so I'll import it and scroll down more because I also wanna grab this futuristic text animation here. So I'll turn the text animation off for a sec, and this is what our sun background looks like. I already love the look of it, but we can customize it by making sure it's selected and going to our essential graphics panel. So I'll double click on the light color to change it to more of a purpley color like so. I'll also change the background color too to a blue. Okay, I'm liking that. And now let's turn the text animation back on so we can customize it as well. I'll delete these and change the text so it says CREATE in all capital letters. And like we just did, we can adjust the colors here. I also want to use this slider to increase the text size to around 141 so that the word create is wider than the sun behind it. We can also adjust the shape size bigger or smaller. I don't like the shape at all, so I'm going to bring the size down to zero so we can't see it. And let's check this out. Nice, okay, it's looking good, but could definitely use a sound effect with it. So let's open up the sound effect pro pack here. There are tons and tons of different sound effects. I'm looking for a glitch sound effect, so I'll select the glitch folder. This one sounds good, so I'll import it and move it to the beginning of my title. Let's check this out. Awesome. I have this clip of this woman roller skating that I wanna make more fun by adding some animated shapes to. So I'll scroll down to where it says free and double click on the starter pack. I love that you can scrub over the thumbnails to see what they'll look like before importing them. I like Firework 1, so I'll select it and click on import, which has brought this element on the V2 track on my timeline where my playhead is. I wanna move this element over more so it's not sitting over top of the woman on screen. So I'll go up to effect controls and adjust the position. Okay, I like that. And I wanna add a few more shape animations throughout this shot. Circle 17 here is looking good. I'll drag it to the beginning of this clip. I think it'd look cool to have a second one of these circles pop up on screen. So with my circle element selected, I'll hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard, drag up, and now I have a duplicate of it, which I'll adjust the position of so that these two circles are more scattered and sort of show up one after another. And I'm gonna move the second circle over a bit. Okay, I'm liking that. So I'm gonna add a few more shape elements over top of this clip. And since you get the idea, I'm gonna speed up this part of the video. Now, all of the free elements I've worked with so far are MOV files, which makes it really easy to just drag and drop them where you want them on screen. In this free pack, we also have some motion graphics, which make it really easy for you to customize. So I'll import this FireSpark motion graphic here. 
And to customize this, we need the Essential Graphics panel. Mine is not showing, so I'll go up to Window and select Essential Graphics. Okay, there it is. And I can click on the Fill color to change it. We could also increase or decrease the size of the stroke. I'm gonna bring it down to zero. One thing that's really cool about these motion graphics is that you can turn glow on if you want to by check marking this box here and you can increase or decrease the glow radius and intensity using these sliders and even change the glow color by double clicking on the fill box and picking a different color. So for this clip, I'm not feeling the glow, but using glow can work really well if you want to give your clip like a superhero feel. I'll adjust the rotation of this element a bit. Nice, okay, so I like this motion graphic. I like that it's a little more abstract looking than the other shape elements I have on screen. So I'm gonna duplicate it and move this duplicate over a little bit and let's check this out. So in just a minute or so, I added these different elements to this clip to make it feel more upbeat, all using AE Juice's free pack, which is really cool. Next, let's pop into the animated emojis pack. When it calls for it, I like to use these emojis to pop up beside a person on screen while they're talking. So I'll grab this thumbs up emoji and import it. And now I'll use the search bar here and start typing in the other emoji I'm looking for called gadget lamp. Cool, okay, there it is. You can select them on your timeline, adjust the size and position of them, and place them throughout your video wherever you'd like. Okay, so there you go. Those are a few of my favorite plugins. And now let's get to how you can win the Premier Pro Bundle Pack. In order to enter for a chance to win one of three bundles, all you have to do is subscribe or already be subscribed to both our channel and AE Juice's channel, link in the description, and comment below letting us know how this bundle can make your videos better. Don't forget to leave your Instagram handle in your comments so that we can DM you if you win. And that's it. That's how you enter. We'll be picking winners this week. So good luck. Thanks for checking this video out and we'll see you in another one.